In this video we'll show you how to check the balance on your tone arm on your record player and also to detach the head shell in order to change the cartridge. Okay now we're at our record player in this instance is a Garrard 401 which is my personal favorite um, and what we're going to try and do is we're going to try and change the cartridge that's the unit which contains the needle which drops down onto the record we're going to try and change this cartridge for another and at the same time what I like to do is I like to check the balances on the arm and the turntable etc just to make sure everything's in good relative condition reason being is to try and get that V cut in the groove on each record you're trying to get your needle your diamond stylus to sit exactly where it needs to inside that groove and then follow the record round in a concentric fashion okay so first thing I like to do is I like to check the balance on the arm itself to be flat so when you place a spirit level on it the bubble inside that spirit level should be somewhere in the center this is actually showing me that it's not which is useful because then I can show you some of the adjustments that you might need to make on your tone arm. Now this is a Gelco 750 which is a 12 inch tone arm but most tone arms are relatively similar in that they have a mounting point and then the arm itself and then the head shell here and the head shell will contain the attachment for the cartridge. Now this is showing me that it's not the, uh, flat that the spirit level, the bubble, is way off center. So it's obviously got some kind of angle on the arm, which is quite significant. So the first thing is I need to adjust the height, the relative height of this end of the tone arm to this end. This end is lower than that end quite considerably. So I need to try and just even the balance out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take an Allen key. You remember I, I told you that to keep a set of Allen keys for the adjustments of the, the mounts on the tone arm. Well, this is the Allen key for this particular tone arm. And I'm going to use that in its correct position and then just hold the tone arm, loosen the mounting, So that I can try and see if I can make any adjustments which might help with the balance. Now the balance is important at this point, but also even more important is the balance when the tone arm addresses the vinyl itself. So you'd want to see it's in pretty good condition there. Okay. So the bubble in the spirit level is telling me that it's pretty near flat when it addresses the vinyl and I'm happy with that. So those small adjustments I made using the Allen key on the base, just lowering the tone arm slightly, uh, it seems to have the effect which I need at this stage, so a small adjustment. So I'll put that back securely into its mount clip. And then the next thing which I'd like to do is I'm going to try and unclip the cartridge inside the head shell away from the main body of the tone arm. Now you know, what I wanted to show you is that some um, tone arms have fixed or rigid head shells where the cartridge is attached i.e. they are all one piece and some have detachable head shells such as this Joko and that makes it a little bit easier if you're um, uh, inserting new cartridges you simply unscrew 
the mounting point here for the head shell and then holding the head shell firmly in your hands you just pull it away from the tone arm itself and it'll come out quite nicely. So the next job I've got is to detach this cartridge from this head shell because I wish to replace this cartridge with another my um, Audio-Technica.